All right, guys, what's going on? I'm back. Next day here in Addis Ababa. Uh, we're in this place called Lancha, Gotara. And this is our new apartment. We moved in last night. And Okay, thank you, my friend. And yeah, so I'm leaving. I'm going to town to explore. I don't know where I'm going, exactly where I'm going. I'm just going to take you guys with me and show you some energy here in Lancha. Okay, so, but while I'm going, I'm going to be giving you guys some facts about um, things you didn't know about Ethiopia in general. So, without further ado, let's get going. So, when I got here last night, I was looking for some food and I ended up going to some restaurant around here. And these guys, look, first fact about um, Ethiopia actually, the majority of people are so friendly. They're very welcoming and friendly. And um, yeah, you literally, um, even us that make content and stuff, you would be walking around um, filming and stuff. Where I'm from, where I was in Uganda actually, and where I'm from in London, sometimes people get uncomfortable when they see you filming or if you point a camera at them. Um, they, you know, they get paranoid and they're like, why are you filming, blah, blah, blah. But here in Ethiopia, uh, most people, when you say hello to them, they're really welcoming. And they say hello back and stuff. Hello, my friend. Salamna. Like, like just, I just did right there. These people are so kind. If you ask them for any information, they're always happy to give it to you. So, yeah. In case you didn't know, that's the first fact about Ethiopian people in general. They're so friendly and helpful as well. And kind, man. This area here, as you can see, it's called Lancha. We're actually staying near this bridge here. Our apartment is right over there. Melat. I don't know if you guys can see in the background over there. Yeah, so I'm in the bridge. Hello. You all right? Some street guys over here chilling. And another thing that I've noticed about um, Ethiopian culture, I don't know if it's part of the culture or the people just love to do it. Um, let me show you guys something. About time to come around. As you can see, like a gentleman over there seated, another guy over there seated, another guy over there seated as well. On the streets, on the streets of Ethiopia, what I've noticed, as you see later on, I'll show you more. On the streets of Ethiopia, or all around Ethiopia, because we 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 just got back to Addis Ababa last night. We went to Hawassa, which is kind of like up country, it takes like four hours. Which is, if you're from London, it's the equivalent of driving from London to Manchester. It was a like four hours drive up, going and coming back four hours as well. So the journey was just under ten hours, around eight hours. But yeah. Not only in Addis Ababa here in the capital, but also up there around Hawassa where we went yesterday um, or the day before yesterday. That in the Ethiopian culture, a lot of people, when they're waiting for something in general, like um, if they're waiting for you know um, cars to come pick them up, or if they're waiting for a cab, or if they're waiting for somebody, they don't mind sitting down or actually just squatting down. Um, yeah, so I've noticed that a lot. So in case you didn't know that about Ethiopian people, and I, I noticed that as soon as I got here. What's up, man? What's up? So yeah, I noticed that a lot as you go around Ethiopia and here in Central as well. People don't mind sitting down. Like, they'll sit down on the pavement like it's nothing. They don't mind it. So yeah, that's another thing I've noticed about Ethiopian people. And another thing as well, I noticed, um, I've already spoke about how friendly these guys are. But they're always helpful, man. If you ask for some help, anything you need, they will help you. But also, another thing I noticed about um, Ethiopians, a bit, but it, this is everywhere though, because it happened to me the first day I got here. Um, and it happens everywhere. Like you guys, you probably have watched, by, this, by the time this video comes out, you would have watched my first video when I first arrived here in Ethiopia. Um, when I arrived here, um, I explained what happened anyway as I was coming from the airport on my way to my apartment, to my hotel actually. Um, guys here, you have to be, if you're negotiating, especially when it comes to money, if somebody's offering you um, a service, especially if it involves like driving, like a, a taxi or a cab, right? If you negotiate a price with these guys here, you have to be really, really specific from the beginning. You have to be really specific when you're negotiating something because, hello, Salamna, how are you doing? So you have to be really specific because what happens, these guys always change their mind when it comes to money. 
I'll give you an example, right? We took a trip from Addis Ababa to Hawassa, where we were going. And when we got there, this guy we made a deal with to take us to Hawassa, we agreed for, we agreed in general, like overall, to give him 3,000, 3,000 baht to drive us there. So when we were leaving, when he came to pick us up, he came with a broker who was supposed to be his friend, the guy who, get, who got him the deal to us. So when he came, he first, he requested we give him 1,000 baht before we left. And then we, 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 we done that. So we gave him 1,000 before we left. And in the end, we're supposed to give him 2,000 baht when we got to Hawassa, right? Because the deal was all about 3,000 baht. So we get to Hawassa. Keep in mind, all along, we're taking this guy with us. We're making stops. We're buying food. We're giving him some food as well, some drinks and stuff like that. So he's rolling with us. He's on a demand him. <laughs> So we get to Hawassa and all along, we under, as we understand, because the deal was for, for 3,000 baht, the balance was 2,000 baht. We get there and the guy wants, two th he wanted 3,000 baht. So we said to him, bro, we negotiated overall for 3,000. We already gave you 1,000, so that means the balance is 2,000. He was like, no, 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 no. The 1,000 you gave to the other guy. But we were like, bro, you gave it to your boy because that was your broker. He's the one that gave you the deal. So, it's your problem. That was between you two. But we agreed 3,000 baht. The guy made a fucking scene, yeah? He didn't want to leave. He said, no, we agreed 3,000. You're supposed to give me 3,000. So, we were like, bro, we gave you 1,000 already. So, he tried to rip us off, basically. Um, saying that um, the money that he gave to his boy before we left Addis, like... Like he didn't come basically. Hello? Sana, how are you doing? So basically, you have to be careful here when you're negotiating. So we had to give him, you know, 500 bar extra. We ended up giving him 2,500, two something like that. Because the guy was making a lot of noise outside of our, our hotel. We were staying in, in Hawassa. So to sort it out, I know, you know, make a scene, we gave him money. So we're like, you know what? Fuck this, let's just sort this out. So in Ethiopia, you must be careful when you're negotiating prices when it comes to um, people who are going to drive you places like cabs or taxis or special cars. Like the same problem I had with that idiot from the airport. The guy was trying to say that me and him agreed something. As you've seen in my first video, but we didn't agree on nothing and he tried to scam me. So be careful. Make sure if you're negotiating for prices and you're going somewhere, make sure if you can, Get it on tape as well, if you, I mean on camera. Get your phone out and record you and the person making the deal so they can't change their mind. So, yeah, be careful here. Some people, some people will try and scam you if they know you're not from here and you don't know the prices. But having said that, that's not only here in Ethiopia. It's everywhere. I mean, people try to scam me in Uganda a few times. But because I know that place better than I know at the suburb right here, it's kind of difficult for them to do that. So yeah, it's everywhere. People are gonna try and scam you everywhere anyway. So just be careful when you're here in particular. So let's go. I was exploring Addis Ababa. These are the real streets of Addis Ababa. And the thing is, yeah, what, I've, what you will notice when you come to Addis Ababa is that the food culture, as I'll show you later on, if I find somewhere to have lunch, their food, it's really good, full of flavors. But most of their dishes, you know, um, they put a lot of spices in there. So if chili is not your thing, you just tell them, no chili, no chili. Hello. Hello, how are you? All right, so I was to keep going. Another thing, as I noticed before, as I mentioned before in my other videos, here in uh, the suburb of here in Ethiopia, they drive on the left, as you can see. Reminds me of when I was in Istanbul, like I mentioned earlier in my other video. So, I have a place, obviously, I'm from London. We drive on the right, but here they drive on the left. Most of the cars are left-hand drives. Yeah, so you have to be careful when you're actually crossing the road. Because if you're used to <laughs> looking right when you're crossing the road, here you have to look left when you're crossing. So, yeah, that's another thing to notice. Shops, as you can see over here.
friendly people, some school kids probably. Hello, what's up? How are you, how you doing, bro? <laughs> YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. You scared the camera? Look, look, look. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. YouTube, yeah. YouTube, yeah. My name is Time, Time London. Oh, yeah. Time you, food, food. I uh, see you're scared of camera, you want food? I give her food, not you. You run away. <laughs> For her. Because she's friendly. You, you're scared of camera, you run away? What's your name, bro? Absa. Time London. Nice to meet you. How you doing? How you doing? What's your name? Abiniza. Abiniza. Nice to meet you. Hello. Are you okay? What's your name? Nice to meet you. I'm Time London. I'm a YouTuber. I make YouTube videos. I want to show people beautiful places about Ethiopia. That's why I'm here. You want to say hello to people? Hello. Say My hello. name is Elif. Elif? Yeah. What about you? What's your name? <laughs> My name is Yapsara. <laughs> Tell the people something amazing about Ethiopia. How Ethiopia amazing? Ethiopia is a nice country. Yeah. Tell we them. love our country. Yeah. Sorry. It's amazing. Yeah. Tell them to come and visit. Okay. Yeah, come and visit Ethiopia. Amazing people here. I just met. All right. So, um, yeah, as you can see here in Ethiopia, people are friendly and kids. Obviously, once in a while, you're going to get somebody who's scared of the camera if they don't know why you're filming. But if you tell them, yo, hey, I'm a YouTuber. I'm just, you know, showing people around the world. You know, the beautiful city here in Addis Ababa and places here in Ethiopia, and uh, show, showing them a bit of culture so they understand. And the thing is, what I really realized as well, another fact about Ethiopia, a lot of younger people, um, they speak good English. Like you probably seen in my other video when we went to the school in Hawassa, a lot of kids here, you know, they speak good English, so they must be doing something right, you know, in the education system, um, which is good, obviously. Um, they speak their local language, which is important, of course, to keep with the culture, but also they speak English, which kind of makes it easier for us foreigners who come to this, you know, who visit these countries, we can communicate with them a little bit, which is good. So yeah, that's Ethiopia. So. I'm walking along this, I don't know if it's a highway. Hello? You okay? You alright? So I'm walking past this, I'm along this highway here. As you can see, these these are kind of like cabs and taxis as well. Um yeah. They've got another thing as well that surprised me um, about Ethiopia. They have some good roads. We've been around, especially central Addis Ababa. I haven't seen any road, any terrible roads, tarmac roads. They've got, you know, potholes, like I've seen in Kampala. So here, most of the roads are really good, which is good as well. It says a lot. Some fruit market here, they sell fruits, like bananas, as you can see, and watermelon. Hello, my friend. Hello. Salam, na. Salam. 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 No, no, I'm okay. Uh, I'm just walking. Just walking, yeah. So, um, yeah, their roads are really good. Oh, and another thing as well, but I decided what I realized there's a lot of stray dogs <laughs> there's a lot of stray dogs like on the streets yeah so you just have to be careful when you you know you run into one of those dogs not everywhere but in some places so yeah Addis Ababa we explore so I'm gonna give you guys some more facts about Addis Ababa as we go along Hi. hello how you say how you doing nice. you wanna say hello to people on YouTube yeah. Yeah. Hello, what's, your, what's, hello. what's your name? Yes, yeah. Halima. Halima. Yeah. Say hello to them. Say hello to people from around the world. Say they should come and visit Ethiopia. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them come and visit Ethiopia. Ethiopia is amazing. Amazing country. Amazing country. Yes. Amazing country. Culture. Culture is good. People. Yeah. Friendly people. people. Is yeah. Beautiful. What's your name? Her culture. Time. Thailand. 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 Yeah. So, so tell them one thing uh, about the culture Thailand. here. Ethiopian culture. Yeah, one thing Ethiopia about the culture. Have a many culture. Uh, yeah. Them cats. Them cats. What's that? Uh, it is a regional, uh, regional culture. A regional culture. Yeah. So Christian, Orthodox, yeah. regional okay. culture is them cats. Okay. Is, is, is that your religion? Me, yeah, my religion. Okay. Her religion what about your religion? What's your? Muslim. Oh, you're Muslim. Yeah. Salam alaikum. Well, my family are Muslim as well. Uh, yeah. What is that? Uh, that religion? My my religion. Uh, is he Muslim? I'm Muslim. Muslim. Yeah. You Muslim as well? <laughs> He's scared of camera. Salam. Salam alaikum. Yeah, my family. My family are Muslim. Uh, yeah. yeah. The same as. The same hair. Same as you. Same, yeah. Okay. Salam alaikum, my sister. Oh, alaikum. Salam, my brother. And you, you're Christian. What yeah. about you? Yeah. 
Muslim. Oh, Muslim as well? Yeah. Because you, you said Halima, so you're Muslim as well? No, right? Halima. You're Halima. Halima okay. Is and oh, Haran. okay. So that's the great thing about Ethiopia. Yeah. Because people, okay. Muslim people and oh, Christian oh, people, oh, they live together, together. guys. Yeah. yeah. They're lovely. Yeah. Uh, one, one region. Yeah. Think about other region. Ah, okay. That's good. Hello. Salamna. You okay? All right, people. Nice to meet you. Let's get a picture together. Everybody. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, let's, see, let's get a picture together. Everybody. Ethiopia. Okay. All right. See you later. Take care. Okay. So, you have to be as a, as you meet people here on the streets. As I met those kids here. All right. See you later. I'll see you later. I have to go. Please. Yeah. Wait. Let me come back. Let me come back. I come back. I come back. I come back. So, you have to be careful when you meet people here. I come back, I come back, I come back, I come back. Wait, wait, wait. I come back. I come. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. I'm going that way. I'm going to come back. I come back. Okay. Hello. So, when you're making videos here or when you're walking and you run into a crowd, like those are kids anyway. But I was warned, somebody warned me and they were like, "Look. If you if you're talking to a crowd of people, and they, you know, they stand all around you and stuff. Please. Wait, wait, wait. I'll come back. I'll come back. Come on. So, you have to be careful when people surround you and stuff because you never know. Some of them might try and put their hands in your pockets. So, you have to be careful when you're filming or when you're around, when a lot of people come around you because you don't know what their intention might be. Now, I'm not saying everybody's going to do that, but that's what somebody from here told me. Somebody from Ethiopia. That's what they told me. Okay. Actually, this is nice. I might walk down there after. So, as we continue to explore. So, another fact about Ethiopia. I'm going to give you a few facts about Ethiopia as I'm walking along. So, a fact about Ethiopia. In the culture, coffee, drinking coffee is very popular. And rumor has it that they're one of the country, if not the country, apparently, who will came up with coffee so everywhere everywhere you go most of these places here um, they've got loads of calves around the country and they serve coffee uh, these girls keep following me <laughs> so yeah that's another fact so one of my videos coming up I'll probably make a video when I go into a calf and I'll taste some coffee I'll show you the traditional coffee okay that's one fact so coffee is very popular so if you come to ethiopia if you come to ethiopia try out the traditional coffee all right ladies you can go you can go because you keep talking in my video <laughs> so um yeah coffee is very popular so when you're in ethiopia something to try out i haven't tried it yet but i will uh maybe in my next video i'm going out later on to meet a friend who stays here and i might try it all right Another fact about um, Ethiopia that you may not know. It's um, uh, apparently it's the fourth most elevated country um, in the world, which means um, it's very high up. Um, it's located high up, which means the weather can be a bit tricky. Now, what I've noticed about the weather here in Ethiopia, in the morning, it's a bit chilly. During the day, as you can see, the sun comes out and it gets warm, right? But when the sun goes down in the you know in the evening and at night it can get bit, you know it can get a bit chilly. And, I, and I'm from England as well. I'm used to winters, but it gets a bit cold out here. So luckily I knew that. And um, when I was doing a bit of research about this country, so I, I brought some hoodies. As you can see in my you know my first video when I flew in here, I was wearing a hoodie. So I came with some hoodies. So if you are coming to Ethiopia. Bring a jacket or some hoodies or some jumpers because it does get a bit chilly in the morning and at night if you're not used to that kind of weather. And the thing is, the, the, you know, the, um, one of the unique things is, is, is like when it gets hot here in the houses here, even in the hotels, they don't have no heaters to warm, you know, to warm up the house if you feel cold. So they don't have no heaters here. So you have to rely on yourself to, you know, to warm yourself up. So yeah, 
That's another fact about this country here. And also, they don't use no ACs in their buildings. So if you come from the sun and you're feeling hot and you go inside the house, the house is normally cool. Indoors are always cool. So yeah, another fact about this country. So no heaters if you're cold and no ACs if you're warm, if you're hot. So another fact about, you know, Addis Ababa and Ethiopia as we keep exploring. So apparently there's five um, official languages here in Ethiopia. One of them, I think, is Oromo, if I'm, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And um, some of the majority of people here, I think they speak some Somali as well. So, but when I'm doing, um, when I get all the other languages, because I only know Oromo, one of the main languages, and some people here speak Somali as well, I'll pull it down in the video. Um, I'll put all the languages down, the main languages I speak here. So there's loads of different languages as um so if you're coming to ethiopia and you speak one of them languages you might be good um a lot of people here are bilingual and like i said a lot of younger people they speak a lot of english as well which is good for communication so that's another fact loads of different languages here hello loads of different languages here in ethiopia which is good so guys another fact about ethiopia in case you didn't know so it's part of their culture here they eat um, raw meat. Now, when I say that, um, you're probably thinking, what? Raw meat? Time. Come on, man. It's true. And um, in a day or two, I might make a video about that. I might try it as well. It's part of their culture. They eat raw meat. That's why in, in Ethiopia, when you're, when you're walking around, you find a lot of places that might come across to you people from the Western countries that might look like the butcher's places. But in most um, restaurants here, they'll have like a section where they actually cut raw meat and waitresses will come and serve it to obviously people will order it here so it's a um, very part of, it's it's a big part of their culture here they serve you know raw meat in restaurants and places like that so another fact they eat raw meat here and there's a story behind that actually it's not just a fact that they just eat raw meat there's a story behind that now the story is um hello Yes. Hello, hello. Yeah, how, are you, how are you? How are you doing? Fine. Okay, so the story behind that is um, years ago during the war, um, when the Ethiopian soldiers were fighting, um, at night they will cook food and stuff. And when they will cook food to boil the meat, the smoke from the fire used to give away their location to their enemies. So when they, when they realized that the smoke was giving away their location, they stopped cooking the meat. So they refer to eating the meat raw. So that's why it's stuck in the culture. Um, they eat raw meat. It started back in the days from the times of war where the soldiers were cooking the meat, but the, you know, the smoke from the fire was giving away the location to the enemies. So they were like, you know what? We're not gonna be cooking any meat no more. <laughs> Let's eat it raw so that the, the enemies don't know where we are. So it became part of the culture here and it's respected. People eat raw meat here. And eat with some chili as well. So I might try a little bit of that. Um, maybe in a day or two. Okay, Sierra Leone Avenue. Interesting. In Ethiopia, they have an avenue called Sierra Leone. All right. I must say, Ethiopia is very clean, man. Um, especially in Central, man. Addis Ababa is it kept very, very, very clean. That's a great thing, man. As you can see, people moving around, going by the day. Today is a Tuesday, so. I'm guessing a lot of people are going to work or they're coming from work. It's lunchtime here. It's about one o'clock here in the afternoon. Beautiful, beautiful city, man. Addis Ababa. So, no thank you, bro. It's a beautiful place over here. I'm going to take a walk through here. Let's keep exploring, man. So, guys, we're still giving you facts about Ethiopia. Now, Another fact that you probably didn't know about Ethiopia is this country is very religious, very, very religious. And the unique thing about that is that there's Christians here and there's also Muslim people here and other religious people. But, the, you know, the unique thing about Ethiopia is they all live together in peace, which is amazing. Uh, as you see in one of my videos, we, you know, we recorded in Hawassa when um, one of the members from the Rastafari community was explaining. They live, they coexist here in peace. And apparently, 
um, Christian people can marry Muslim people and there's no problem. Whereas obviously in some countries around the world it might be a problem, but here in Ethiopia, everybody lives together, no matter what religion you are, everybody lives in, in peace. Another fact about Ethiopia, no thank you, no thank you, a kid over with a scale. Um, so that's another fact about Ethiopia. And to go with that as well, on the religious part as well, Ethiopia has their own Bible apparently. Now, I'm only giving you the facts that I know. You guys, after watching my video, go do some research as well. And and because you're probably gonna be wondering about what's the name of the Bible? I can't give you everything, I can't do all the work for you. Hello? So you go find out what you know how the Bible looks like and what's what the name of the Bible is as well. But yeah, here in Ethiopia, they have their own Bible. So very interesting. I haven't seen it yet, but when I do get a chance, I'll take a look at it. As we explore Ethiopia, man, this place is amazing. Um, we've got this area here. It's probably like a chilling place, very open. You've got some stairs, some stairs over there, and you've got some big screens. Maybe this is a place that people come to just to chill and watch the traffic as things go on. And over there, it looks like we've got some food trucks over there. So yeah, Ethiopia, man, Addis Ababa, beautiful city. So, guys, I was as we continue to explore. So, adding to that, adding to the religious part of um, this country, there's also people here who fast on Wednesdays and Fridays as part of their beliefs. Now, I don't know what religion that is, but you can, you know, research that for yourself as well. But yeah, here people fast, some people here, fast on Wednesdays and Fridays as part of their religion. So, another fact about Ethiopia as well, as we keep exploring. And... What I've noticed as well, like I, I'm, I'm always going to keep mentioning the friendliness of the people here in Ethiopia. People are so friendly. If you're lost and you ask for direction, they're going to direct you and be like, oh, my friend, you know, this and this and this and that. Yeah, so another fact about Ethiopia. Friendly people has got some food trucks over there. Okay, burgers. They sell burgers over here. Coffee over there. Chocolate tea. Uh, street fast foods over there. Okay, so this is like a food truck. I think people come here, this area, to buy food for lunch and stuff, and then go chill out there. So, guys, another fact about Ethiopia that you probably didn't know. In Ethiopia, they don't celebrate New Year's like everybody else around the world, or most countries around the world. Where you live, you might celebrate New Year's on, you know, December the 31st. Here, in Ethiopia, they celebrate their New Year's on September the 11th, as I understand it. So, when you're celebrating your new year on um, December 31st, here in Ethiopia, their new year's is on September the 11th. And also, their calendar here in Ethiopia doesn't consist of 12 months. It consists of 13 months. So, their calendar doesn't go from January to December. It consists of 13 months. So, more facts about Ethiopia that you probably didn't know. Yep, as we continue to explore, Time London, I'm hitting you with more facts about Ethiopia. Beautiful country, look at this. Amazing place, it's very clean. The streets are very clean. So, more facts about Ethiopia. As we're exploring. Over there, it's like a big Coca-Cola bottle. There. Nice art. Oh, it looks like Nissan dealerships over there. Car dealerships. Hello. So, as I was saying, Another fact about this amazing country. So, Ethiopia is one of the countries that was never colonized by any Western, you know, country. Never colonized. Therefore, going back in time, their cultural beliefs are still intact. That's why when you move around this country, as I have, for a few days, there's a lot of cultural things still going on. Like the, the raw eating meat thing. So, they were never colonized. They're very um, cultural. That's why most of the religions from back in the days, they're still, um, you know, they're still alive right now in Ethiopia. And also another fact about Ethiopia is that they have their own alphabet. So, some of your countries around the world might, you know, have the normal alphabet from A to Z or A to Z, depending on how you want to, you know, pronounce that. But here in Ethiopia, they have, this country, they have their own alphabet. Again, go and fact check for yourself and look it up i'm not gonna do everything for you i'm just giving you some facts about this country 
Somebody needed felt. <laughs> but they're okay. They didn't hurt themselves. So, yeah. This country was never colonized by any Western, you know, countries in the past. Yeah. Amazing country. So, guys, as I was recording this video, you know, exploring the streets of Addis Ababa, I was giving you some facts about Ethiopia that maybe you didn't know about. But, yeah, so when you come to this country, um, yeah, try and explore and, you know, check out those facts and check out those things that I gave you um, and see for yourselves. But, yeah, I'm still here for a few more days as I, you know, as I keep exploring this country to see what's cracking. All right, guys, so this particular video here, I might end it here or I might double back and go get some food.